On today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, while celebrating Courtney's last day, we receive a mysterious letter from the ladies at the post office. <gasps> it's a note. Oh, it's handwritten. Aww. We stumble across an $800 item at the thrift store. You know what they say, Courtney? What? You know, spend money to make money in this caper. And we're back in the garage to talk through the items that are selling for us on eBay. And uh, I came back and listed these up and had them sell yesterday. This is Courtney's last video, guys. Wish her well in the comments. So before Courtney starts for the day, I went out and did some thrifting and I found this one, Curb Your Enthusiasm, the complete series one to eight. Actually sells for about $45 and this one's already gone on to sell for me. We got a one day sell through rate, really, really fast and a $45 sale price. This one here as well, Michael Mapergo. I just did some research on, on sell through, 200 odd sales results, but then only 13 actual sales. Um, so for that reason at 10 bucks, I just left it back on the shelf. I found this as well, it was a CB radio device. It was $100 in store. I did some comp research, I wasn't sure about this one. There was a sale for $200, but then I had a look at the little sign here and it said that there might have been some issues with the power supply. So I ended up leaving that one behind. This was a good one. We've got Minecraft Zombie, a 28 book box set for just $12.50. Sales on eBay going for about $70 to $80. So it will cost a little bit to ship off, but I think that is a very, very good buy. This as well, a great shoe to be finding. I have sold this one a number of times before. A very deceptive sale price. You can get upwards of about $100 for these boots on eBay. So to pick them up for just $10 in store, there's gonna be some great profit in that one. And then I dove into the DVDs, my natural habitat, as you guys know. And I was able to find this one here. We've got the Adams Family on DVD, volumes one, two, and three. Now this is a region one copy. However, I'm still going to go ahead and buy it because the sales here in Australia are around about $55. Funnily enough, actually, when I did some comp research for US sales, um, this one's this is only going for about $25. So we do get some really good sale prices domestically here in Australia. So I'm still very happy to find that one. I jumped into a new category that I'm starting to see a lot of success in, and that is the box sets for books. This one here going for about $35. I am paying $10, so it is a little bit expensive, but more than happy to go ahead with that purchase considering the sales have been so good. A very clean pair of Nike Air Max 90s here. Uh, look, I didn't end up going ahead with these, even they were pretty much light new condition. It was just that $35 sale price there in store that basically made me walk away. I've also got these as well. These are the Air Force Ones. Some really clean shoes here in this thrift store. Just the 25 on these. Um, but there was actually a little bit of a cutout. That little tab that runs along the top of the lace, as you can see there, it was just chopped off. So um, with that blemish, I didn't think it was worth spending 25. So I've put that back on the shelf as well. This was a really cool find, guys. I love my NBA, the Vancouver Grizzlies. The old school vintage nature of this jersey was epic. It was 20 bucks in store. It was size extra large. And this is completely genuine, guys. Um, so no doubt somebody out there is going to want it. I often get people ask on my Instagram if they can buy items out of my videos. And look, this is a perfect example of something that would sell to a viewer of the audience. So if you want it, hit me up on Instagram. I've got this as well. This is the brand Mac Pack, an incredibly good sell-through rate on this one. It's a size medium. It's a men's medium. Um, I am picking it up for $20. So look, I think this one should convert into about $60 to $65. That's what I'm going to be listing it up for anyway. I've also found some more basketball gear as well. We've got the West uh, edition of the um, All-Star Weekend shorts here. Um, awesome pair of shorts. The bright red as well is just pretty damn epic too. Um, I believe this one is a size medium. Um, yeah, there it is there, but it is completely genuine. The hardwood classics yet again, and we're paying just a $15 sale price in store. Should get about $35 to $40 for that. I have picked up this as well. This is the Gold Coast Suns in the AFL. A pair of genuine uh, New Balance track pants here. I think somebody in Melbourne might go ahead and pick these ones up. Um, they are a size large as well, which is quite good, but a bit of colder weather down there in Melbourne, somebody might want it. That's the tag you want to find. AFL on field, completely genuine. Probably should have hung around for a little bit longer because it looked like a lot of that good clothing was starting to just hit the shelf. Um, really cool Raptors, or well not Raptors, Vancouver Grizzlies, I should say, uh, jersey, and then obviously the uh, the West um, basketball shorts as well. So that sort of stuff does really, really well for me. And then obviously Mac Pack too, guys. That's one that you want to be finding. So it's helped our day. We've certainly been able to build up a number of items now. I'm going to go home, give this to Courtney, and then uh, we'll rip back out and do some more because I don't think I'm done yet. 
just run to the shops to grab Courtney a going away present or a finishing up present, whatever you call it. She's off to Vietnam uh, next week. So perfect timing for me to be able to give her a, a million dong, which is Vietnamese dollars. Um, so transacted out on currency exchange to a million dong worth of spend for her next week over in Vietnam. So hopefully she can use that wisely, maybe buy 20 or 30 drinks. Because everything's so cheap over there. Um, and I've got her some flowers. I've got her some flowers as well. So we're going to do that for lunch. Uh, we've, got, we've got lunch in about an hour, so it shouldn't be too far off being able to just hand it all over to her and just say thanks. So I'll uh, try and turn the camera on. It's really hard when it's just me filming it to try and have the phone in my hand and film it and then also give it to her, but I'll do my best. I'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, pretty crazy that she's finishing up today. How do you feel? <laughs> it's, is it Monday today? Monday. Is it Monday? The last day. No. Last day. How do you feel about it? Mixed feelings, sad, weird. Um, you start tomorrow though, new job. Yeah, I start tomorrow with my new job for one full week before I leave for my trip as well. So yeah, a lot happening, but yeah, weird. I don't think it will feel real until I'm back from my trip. Mm. And then I'm like, oh, I've got a whole new routine now. Mm. But yeah, how do you feel? I'm gonna miss you yeah. a lot, <laughs> a lot. Cause you're just crushing the post over here while I was out thrifting. Smashing my listings for me, definitely gonna miss you. But yeah. um, we've got a pretty big final day today in store. Mm. Um, we're gonna go through some of the sales that have come through. Yeah. Uh, not all of the sales, because as you can see, Courtney's gone ahead and already done probably seven or eight of them right there. Um, so we've got another, I think that's, is there five or six? Yeah. Five or six sales to take you through. Yeah. Uh, a lot of thrifting today, and we're going out for lunch. We are. Final Ooh. final lunch. Pretty good lunch spot too. I don't know if we've actually filmed out there before. Nah, but we did the meetup out there. We did the meetup, yeah. We should have filmed that meetup when we were out there. Yeah. Anyway, we've got some good things to talk about. There's one massive sale. I'll, I'll give you guys a bit of a hint. There's a sale here that we've had come over $200 worth of revenue. Um, so that'll be the biggest one, but we're going to start with the cheapest. Yeah. I'm going to work our way up to the top and Courtney has the first one. First one is a video game, no surprise, but this is, yeah, number six, cheapest one. The Wii Just Dance 2 Extra Shong. Extra Shong. Extra <laughs> what? What was that? Extra what? Songs. <laughs> $18. We didn't need to even talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap um, one. Very cheap. Uh, I think we've had it for ages as well, so good to see it go. We'll put that in an envelope and make not much, but... It's, it's another one. It was 20 bucks, <laughs> best offer acceptance for 18. Yeah. Um, that's where get we it do out. it. That's our cheapest price point, 20 bucks. Yeah. So happy to accept the 18 just to get it out the door. Yeah. Um, hopefully you can put a couple of hiccups in for this last video. A lot of comments in the last video about your, the hiccups will be missed. Uh, I wish I could miss them also. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. 24.95, wasn't it? Yeah. Pretty sure for this one. Arc. Is it Ark Survival Evolved? Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have too much more to say about this one either. <laughs> We're just gonna whack it into a medium track post envelope. Another bread and butter video game. Not a lot of video games left on the shelf. We've actually started to put books down the bottom here because we are buying books like crazy at the moment. Turning into a bookshop. We are turning into a bit of a bookshop and I'm still undecided about these shoes. Oh, yeah. Maybe we could fill all that up with books because they seem to be selling better than shoes anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, another video game, that's two down. We've got a few more to go, and trust me, they get a lot better from here. These are the Asics Gel Quantum 180s. Uh, we actually brought these in the second store when Matt was doing that series, um, but we transferred them into our main store, and we've sold them, but we did purchase these for about $15, and we got a $38 sale price. So after fees, posts, all of the above, we're gonna only make about $10 in profit. Um, which highlights, which what Matt is always talking about at the moment is shoes are definitely selling for a lot less than they used to and yeah, you really need to look into them um, a lot Try and lower now. the prices yeah. to get them down around this sort of a figure. Because they used to sell really well and that, like higher. That Quantum 180, we should have really sold that for about 50 to 60. Yeah. At least we used to sell them for that much. Yeah. Um, but now only at $38. Maybe the size was the issue with these ones. Maybe the fact we didn't give them a really good scrub and clean them up. Um, who knows? But this is a small example of a much bigger issue. And I still don't have an answer for it. Now I just wandered in, Courtney, to the thrift on Friday. Just for, a, just for a quick look. I wasn't even out to go on a big thrifting session. But I just dropped into a local thrift store that offers some pretty cheap price points. 
and we're able to get these DVDs uh, out of that store. Um, Heart of Dixie, season one to four. Now that is a complete set, Courtney. Um, we've done this one a number of times before, one to four, and the comps on eBay say you're gonna get about $50 for it. There are a number of sales around that sale price as well. So I raced back home. I was only out in the thrift for about 20 minutes on a quick Friday morning, and uh, I came back and listed these up and had them sell yesterday. Um, so it was a Sunday sale, a Friday list, a 48 hour journey, and uh, we got the full asking price of $49.95. Mm -hmm. So really, really good show. Um, is that Rachel Bilson? Yeah. Off, is that OC Rachel Bilson? Yeah, it is. She was the one. Yeah. She was better than Marissa, her. in my opinion. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Rachel. Anyway, anyway. Um, $49.95, small satchel, big, big TV show. Actually, a weird one on this. Season three, there are comps on eBay going for like hundreds of dollars in the US. For just season three. I don't know if it's some money laundering thing, but Weird. They, they just that one seems to fly for some reason. One and two yeah. does not go very well. No. I remember we got rid of some of them maybe. We wouldn't even list it. Yeah. But and then, you get four of them, you get forty nine ninety five. But if we wanted to try and sell season three, you can still guys do some research on that. Just search up, you know, Heart of Dixie season three and have a look at the comps. It's really weird. All right. This is number one. A very, very good sale. You guys might have remembered uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe, in a vlog, Matt and I found these brand new rare board games in an op shop. We got these two, the Waste Knights, completely brand new, as well as the Cyberpunk. I don't know if you've seen that, um, with expansion packs, that we got a $500 sale price for those ones. So they were extremely rare. But for all of the board games, we paid about $200. And with the profit of all of them selling, it's about a thousand, is that what you're saying? A thousand worth of revenue. Revenue, sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, which is very, very good. And over the weekend, we got a sale for these two. So we actually listed them together for a $300 sale price, but Matt accepted an offer of 200, purely because we're already in profit from the 500 in the Cyberpunk. So that after fees and posts, we're gonna make about 150 from these profit. What a sale. I know. 200 bucks. That brings us up to 700 bucks in sales for the board game so far. And just behind Courtney here, we have this one. Uh, this was the last of the ones that we had found in that, in that buy, Drop Bears. Mm. So we've got that listed up for about $100. Um, that one's another brand new and sealed game as well. So if that sells for 100 200 500 for the Cyberpunk, it's going to be 800 in sales. And we only paid $200 in store for everything. So big, big sale. Also, obviously, Courtney was saying that she's off to Vietnam next week. Are there any tips that anybody has for Courtney? Any tricks of the trade over there in Vietnam that you can help Courtney out with? Because she's going over there, what, to just have a good time and have a million drinks and just run amok? Or are you <laughs> no, going to... wholesome. Gonna, oh, wholesome, wholesome. No, travel, travel. South to north with my friends. But yeah, yeah tips and tricks, please. Um, we asked our faux guy. Peter, I think you've seen him. Oh you yeah, Peter, yeah, of course. Um, I asked him for some tips and yeah, I'm super excited, but. What did he give you? Um, so Ho Chi Minh, which is like the main city, is like quite expensive now for Vietnam, but he said to spend more time in Da Nang, which is I'm pretty sure north where we are going, but we're only doing about two or three days. Mm -hmm. He said, um, I think that's called Saigon up there. It's really, really cheap and really beautiful. So um, yeah. Inside word. From a local, because he's... From a local. He'd just come back from Vietnam as well. He knows it well. But I'm very excited. I haven't been overseas in like six years. Been so a long time. A bit nervous. Nervous, but ready. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, drop your comments for Vietnam. I've personally never been, so I can't give any advice. Yes. Um, but help Courtney out. Drop it in the comments and let us know. Last day. Oh, I you. <laughs> I there like, you go. Do go. I don't know where you're gonna place them while we eat, oh, but maybe we can stuff them in this little thing there. Oh. What a spot for the final day, hey? I know. The We've actually never filmed this, um, but Courtney and I have come here. How many times do you reckon we've been here over the journey? About five. Yeah, yeah, I reckon about five times. Nice Crazy outdoor area. Awesome little deck. 
And uh, yeah, Courtney's got the steak sandwich. I've got the chicken breast. Cheers, Courtney. Sad, sad day. How's that for service? I like that everywhere I go. Thrifting for the final time, Courtney. That means good luck because the very first time Courtney and I ever went thrifting, we found According to Jim, and According to Jim sold for five hundred dollars. We found it for five bucks in a thrift store. Yeah, I have a good feeling. So we've I reckon. Also had a printer error today. Oh yeah. So when we first day one, I was a nervous wreck. Just Courtney on board day one, and I we had a printer issues where I had to go out and get ink, and we also couldn't connect it to the internet. Well. And you're like, well, this never happened. And truly, it, it never did happened. happen. <laughs> And then? <laughs> yeah, and then today, just before we came to lunch, uh, the printer failed. It wasn't connected to the Wi-Fi, it's literally never happened. And yet, day one and the last day, yeah. we had printer issues again. Mm. So that just tells me that we're about to go out thrifting right now, and we're going to go and find another $500 item. I can just feel it. Same. Let's do it. First store, Salvos. Now, Holy it's three o'clock. What's that? How much change do you have in there? We're going to spend all this. Crack that open. Yeah, that was me at the flea market yesterday. According to Jim with that? Yeah, we'll find, according to Jim, five bucks. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Salvo store, shop number one of Courtney's final thrift. Mm. That's pretty good. 20 is probably a bit too much. Especially for shoes at the moment. Ultra boot, are they Burks? What size are they? Seven men. Men's seven, it's not great. Eight How and much? Half women's. Only 15 though. Is that what brand is that under them? So that's, um, oh. that's Steph Curry. He's a basketball player. Um, they're in pretty good condition though. Fifteen dollars. They are they are a small size, which doesn't help us. Mm, I think. What do you reckon? Were you about to say yeah? No, I was going to say. What do you think? No. You're saying no because of size. And just looking at all of our attitude. Yeah, good point. That is going to be another one in a few months. Great point. Great point. Family wore a comp that last time I was in here. Doesn't sell for very much. Mm. No. Might have to go to the shoes and the clothes. <laughs> Oh. oh, there's a hiccup. <laughs> a farewell hiccup. A farewell hiccup. I wanted at least one in there. Oh, that's always after I eat. Yeah. We didn't actually show lunch. What did you... Oh. What did you think of um, the steak sandwich? It was good. What did you think of your chicken? Uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> Just because I'm trying to eat healthy and it was plain and boring. <sighs> Nothing in the electronics. Shoes, men's shoes. I'm just here. Are they Kay Kayana? Is it okay? Mm. Not mm. terrible. It came in today. Nine. See, that's Is a that a women's? Uh, we can tell via. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't give UK. UK. Usually, what? the UK, if there's a big gap between US and UK, you know it's a women's shoe. I think it's women's because I'm a nine. I think it's a women's as well. I think we do these. Do you know why? Because they're plain black and somebody can wear them for work. I was going to say, I'd wear them at work. You'd wear them at work and they're a comfy shoe. Yeah. There's another one down there. They look a bit dirtier. Massive. Oh, oh. yeah, no, 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 no. See, guys, that's really crucial to make sure you get your... Uh, soles are decent still. Get your decent soles out. There's a lot of use left in them. This is only $6. What is that? Mm, I think I don't think it's genuine. It's like a um, like a European soccer team. Yeah, it looks. Don't know how to pronounce them, but I think it's I don't think it's genuine. No. Heard that before. Courtney's just found smog. Never seen them in four years of doing this. This is what you do. You research. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, it's not bad, but 
Not great either. No. And they're all internationals too. Yeah. We have one item under our sleeve. Is that a saying, under our sleeve? Um, I'm bad with sayings. Yeah. Under our sleeve. Up our, up our sleeve, I think, is the term. Yeah, not under. Not under. But anyway, RSPCA, let's see what they got today. Oh. Oh. Oh, me. Oh, my. Oh, Lord. The books. Your favourite. It has starting to become my favourite. See what you can find. Doesn't look like anything has changed here. You know how when you go into a thrift store and you just remember it looking the exact same as the last time you were here? That's exactly what this one's looking like. No sets, no. No sets? No, but this, the kids' ones are... Up the back. This one's a big one. If you can find a few of these. Are they on clouds? Yes. Yes. Small. Eight dollars. They're tiny. Oh, it's They're kids. it's just such a strong brand that we've got to do it. Yeah. But only eight bucks. Oh, it's a woman's six and a half. Fantastic. I'm talking like eighty, something like that. That's good. Eight into eighty. Cool colour too. Yeah. How is that sitting there? Oh, these are good too. Twelve dollars. Yeah. Hey, these beanie uh, beanies. These um, bucket hats do well. Canadian clubs. We won't buy it, but no, they can do well. Oh, fifteen dollars. Mm. I like it. Mm. That's got good wear. Same. They're a Kayano twenty nine, and we last got a twenty eight or a twenty seven. I tell you, I know we're battling with our shoes. I'm being very contradictory, mm. but <laughs> you know some that will go in and out. A Kayano and an Encler. I'm never saying no to those. Yeah. What are you saying no to? Everything else. What mm. else? This section can sometimes be okay as well. They've cleaned it up a lot of late. I've bought stuff off this shelf before, but it doesn't look like there's much going on. That's been here forever. Forever. Yeah, portable scanner. $65. That's probably why it's still here. Um, what's this thing? $350. For a robo pool cleaner. Was twelve hundred. Let's have a look at the comps on this. <laughs> it's a Seagull Pro Light. Oh. X demo. That was only one. Oh a minute. APR. Shuffle that in. That's the brand. That was a $779 comp. Does it work? Oh well. Bring Vacation Home, APA. Two, but I think that was like the exact same. Oh no, different, 13 and 15. Probably, probably the same seller. seller. Yeah. Um, how many are listed? I mean, it does look like it's been used because this logo has got a bit of a corrosion on it. Two. Two are listed. So that's a brand new one for thirteen hundred, and then that's one with the box. Yeah. Brand new, brand new. They're all brand new. Search, um, search pre-owns only, and search price high to low. Because it's got this little charging. One. Thing. This would be a very risky buy. Seven hundred eighty. Okay, so seven hundred and eighty. Eight hundred. That's no box. Okay. But that's a that's a Seagull Pro. Pro light we have. We've got the light. Pro light. So we're gonna ask we're gonna ask about being able to send this back as a refund if it doesn't work and we're gonna test it out in Mum's pool. <laughs> coming over Mum. We're coming over Ma. <laughs> Hello ladies. 
Now, do we know if this works or not? Well, it's a, it's a pull vacuum cleaner. Oh, oh okay. But uh, I'm a bit nervous at $350. Yeah. Not without knowing if she works or not. Yeah, look, they would test it for the power. Okay. They wouldn't obviously know whether it Wouldn't whack it in the pool. Else. But if, we, if you purchase it, yeah. we can give you the receipt. Yeah. And then if you bring it, if you've got 14 days to decide whether it's what you want, and then right. you can bring it back. Let's do it. You know what they say, Corny? What? You're going to spend money to make money in this caper. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch this space. Yeah, look, I can't say I've ever bought a pool vacuum cleaner to flip before. But it that's... literally looks brand new, though. Like, yeah. I haven't even put it in a pool. Yeah. I honestly reckon put it on Marketplace. I'm going to go Marketplace, and I'm also going to go um, eBay. Marketplace, I'm going to go for... Probably put it on Marketplace for 600 How can you get it? Because... If they're new, 1200 or 1400 whatever. Yeah. Yeah, if it's, um, I'll, I'll actually, um, I'll do some research on uh, RRP. Yeah. Because it looks like it was 1300 new. Yeah. Um, so 1300 new, if we list it for 650 that's half price. Yeah. Not bad. Board you know game. How you like, how much do you reckon? Oh, yeah. How much do you reckon? I think 20. $20.70. 20 and 70 cents. Spot on. Yeah. I mean, not bad when you're selling it for 200. Yeah. That's good. I don't know, can you see that lady? Can we get her up in the, can you see that in screen? She says, oh, oh, there's a car, there she is. Okay. So that's the lady at the post office. She just handed this envelope and what did she say? She said there's a customer that comes into the post office that recognized that we take stuff in and then was like, can you please give this to Matt? Weird. Oh my god, open it. You open it. That's so strange. Ooh, I wonder what it, it just is. says to Matt and it's an Australia Post envelope. Oh, <gasps> it's a note. Oh, it's handwritten. Oh. What? This is insane. You read it out. Cute. It's pretty long. Oh, I reckon, I reckon let's run it. Okay, to the Aussie flipper, hey Matt, I hope you're well and this message finds you okay. I am currently writing this at the Mermaid Post Office as I know we go to the same post. I'm not creepy, I swear, haha. Ha. I've seen you, your last video and have noticed you may need a new Courtney. And, oh, now I'm not as pretty, but I do know the ropes and have been working on my eBay store for the past year and I love the opportunity to learn from the best while helping you grow. Now, something about me. My name is also Matt. I'm 22. Love sports, fashion, and have recently picked up self-improvement. I know this may be an unconventional resume, but I hope this will show you I am a go-getter. I would love the opportunity to be considered all the best. Matt, and his last name, and his details. That is literally a joke. That is wild. Cute. How's the timing? Hi, Matt, if you're watching. How's the timing on the young man? Cute. Well done, Matt. How old is he? 22? 22. What a go-getter. He has his own eBay store. We should definitely get him in and talk to him. We should link up. Matt, let's link up. Courtney and I used to always go to the, the coffee shop that's here at the Q Super Center. Let's link up for a coffee. Have a chat. And we'll have a chat. I have no idea what's doing. After. Courtney's literally finishing up in one hour. So this is a very timely, <laughs> timely letter that we're receiving here. What a go. That is literally so cute. Mm, I like that a lot. That's a go get up. I think it's, he said it's unconventional. And that's the coolest thing about it. It is unconventional. Aww. He could have gone Instagram. Yeah. He could have gone... Handwritten. Flea market. Well, flea market hello would have been pretty cool too, but a Nah, card, this is cool. A letter in the, in the mail. A letter from the lady at the post office. Yeah, like your post office lady has given it to. What a random delivery just then. Um, thanks very much, Aww. Matt. That was epic. And what a cool thing to include in Courtney's last video. Um, so I that's just, it. I just did my last listing. The very, very last listing. A pair of on-cloud shoes that will no doubt sell for 60 bucks pretty damn quickly. A couple of Kayanos that we picked up as well. We went over to mum and, mum and dad's place. Yeah. And unfortunately, we're going to have to return that tomorrow. Pool cleaner. What happened? What was, what was the issue? There's a dial which you turn on to put it into the modes. Is it completely locked? You can't even get it unlocked. And apparently it's a fault with those um, specific ones, which is very annoying. Um, but we did check before we brought it that if it didn't work, we could return it back to them just because it was a high ticket item. So that mm -hmm. was a possibility, thank God. But... I think it's good that they've got that store policy in place because we could have 
gone ahead and risk free bought that like we did and be able to test it out and get our money back with confidence. Yeah. So that's a good policy that I've got in place. A real shame though, because the EPROV calculator said that we we're going to make two to three hundred profit. Yeah. Um, but still worthwhile giving it a go. Mm -hmm. um, more important news though is that Corny is out of here. Five o'clock, last day, twenty third of September, a year and nine months in, and it is lights out for Courtney. Oh, sorry. I can speak on behalf of the YouTube channel because we put the video out last week and we got yeah. 15,000 views in two days. Oh my God. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be missing watching you in these videos. Yeah. I will miss it too. Trust me. It's, I don't think it really has like sunk in for me yet. It just feels like I'll come back to work. But I think like I was saying to Matt earlier in the day, once I get back from my trip and I'm in a different routine and I'm like, oh, I don't come back. It's weird. Like it will hit me then. But at the moment I'm like, oh. I'll see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Oh, Wednesday, wherever. Yeah. But um, no, nah, I think, yeah, here and there, I'll definitely pop in, definitely help out Matt. If he ever goes away for an extended period of time, I can always step back in as well, but it just won't be what it is currently. Well, on the behalf of the audience, they are all going to miss you terribly. I'm going to miss you terribly. Yeah. Thank you very much for all of your help over the last year and nine months. Yeah, crazy. Enjoy the trip. Yeah. And we'll get you in for a cameo in the next couple of months, I reckon. Yeah, it's been a good being here. <laughs> Sounds good. Smashing my listings for me, definitely gonna miss you.